Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Shock with DG, and today we're going to be going over the new Chalet rework. Um, I'm so thankful for Ubisoft inviting me to play the new Operation early, and they've allowed me to record some content for you guys to upload, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the walkthrough of the map really quickly. So, as you can see, the Northwest spawn has, uh, has been taken out, so now you only have these three spawns, which I, I sort of like. So we'll quickly spawn in as the new operator is zero and I'll do a walk through the outside of the map and then we'll take a look at the inside of the map real quick. All right, so you've got the uh, spawn here. It's about the same. I'm just gonna quickly go over the outside of the map, kind of run around. Um, so not much has changed here for the rock spawn. As you can see, the canine windows have been sort of boarded up besides the one. The office window is gone. The kitchen window is gone. The window fireplace is gone. Not much has changed for the spawn. And nothing has really changed over here for this spawn. So we'll quickly run over to the other spawn and just show you kind of that side of the map. And then we'll run inside real quick. So as you can see, snowmobile has changed a bit. You've got this balcony here. You've got a ladder leading up to it. You've got your window here. The windows up here have now been barricaded. You can't do the C4 trick over or anything like that. The spawn over here has uh, remained the same for the most part. Uh, so here's outside library. You've got your library windows. The... Uh, Games room has been changed a bit, so you no longer got your window there and your door here. You've still got your double window there, uh, but that has changed a bit. So, quickly come over here and show you guys the rest of this. So, this is just the outside of the library. This is the front of the building here. Or, I guess maybe the back, whichever you, you'd like to see it as. Uh, quickly, we're going to go over this uh, tower here. So, they changed this tower, actually. So, before, you used to be able to climb this ladder that was here. And you'd be able to climb it up and sit on this tower and get a nice vantage point into any of the windows um, in the building. Um, they've since taken the ladder off. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but the ladder is gone. And you can't amar up. You, you can't repel up. So you have no access to this anymore. This tower is no longer accessible. So that's all that's really changed for the outside spawns area. So we're going to go ahead and enter the building now. So we're going to go in through the basement first, go down to the basement door, and we'll uh, work our way up. So we're going to work our way from the north to the south, and then go up. So you've got your big garage. The hatch is still here. The little closet room is still here. The big garage has not changed very much. Still got your car there. You can no longer get the head glitch here because of the box. And your hatch is now gone for the flank there. But you still have your hatch there to flank, and you can still rotate. Um, wherever else. And they've got this hallway. The hallway hasn't changed much either. Um, as you can see, we've got a staircase leading up to uh, West Main. But we'll take a look at that here in a second. We're still going to go north over. So you've got your trench. Your uh, trench hallway here. Your trench door. You've got wine cellar. As you can see, it's a lot less panels to reinforce on wine cellar now. You've got your hatch here. Now you've got wine cellar. As you can see, wine cellar is very different. They've changed up wine cellar quite a bit actually so you've no longer got the little closet room uh, but you do still have the walls leading to trench and the actual wine cellar is a lot more there's a lot more spacious um, a lot of corners like this you can hide in um, I, I actually sort of like it I think it looks pretty cool um, you got your drone hole there to blue speaking of blue they've changed blue up a lot you've now got this uh, 90 hall that leads from you know the actual blue stairs and the snowy wheel garage but then also to wine closet. So we'll take a look at those stairs here in a second, but this is your snowmobile garage. You still got your boat, you've got your stairs, you know, the bomb would go here. Um, not too much has changed. You can see the trash cans have moved and, um, you know, so certain things like that. But for the most part, this has remained the same. You have your hatch gone. Um, but for the most part, it's all about the same. Connector is, is also much of the same. You've got your hatch there. Um, but besides that, nothing's really changed there. So we'll go up these stairs here in the fireplace. So this is that window we looked at before that looked over the garage. This is the fireplace now. This is your front door. This is where your double window would be and canine, but that's all been boarded up now. You just have your double door. As you can see, fireplace is very, very different. Very different. They've uh, added this whole balcony system up here, making it a lot easier for you to push from outside front door in. You only have to worry about up here and, you know, a few angles on these doors, but that's about it. You no longer have to worry about all of up there, uh, which is nice. 
So we'll check out the uh, the bar area here. Uh, also, quickly, you have your softball here. I thought I'd add that because uh, we're we're gonna look at here that here in a second. You got your bar. Bar is uh, very similar, um, but also fairly different. You still got your hatch. You got your jukebox and all that. Um, you still got the actual bar. It's changed a bit. Um, you've got your again. This that wall I was talking about. To this, I call it like supply closet, whatever you're gonna call it. Um, connector to games. So this is games. Of course, these walls would connect the bar. Again, your door is gone and in that um, all that. You still got your hatch in here. Your double window is still there for games. But uh, this is games. You got your hallway. Obviously, this hatch is gone now. That used to be in the hallway, but your bar one is still there. This leads to dining. We'll take a look at that here in a second. This is your, this is like a small supply closet, like coat closet room. They've now extended it to be um, a much, much bigger room. This window here leads out to the uh, west lawn there. So before we head up to the third floor, we're going to quickly check out dining and then we'll head up from there. So this is dining. These walls here lead into fireplace. So then you see you've got your fireplace double door and, and all that, the access to bar. This is the new dining. You still got your hatch in the corner. No longer a drone hole, however. You've got this sort of uh, bench area. Here's kitchen. The kitchen window is uh, obviously gone. You've got your access to trophy through this wall. The kitchen hatch is gone. And in that spot, at least, it's now here. You've got your double door to West Main. We'll quickly take a look at that here in a second. This is the new trophy. So as you can see, you've got the hatch in the same place. The drone hole is actually moved more to the left so that you can't see directly to the back of trophy anymore. The windows, however, are still in the same place. The back window um, is actually gone though. So you can no longer go from uh, far back and peek into the window or morrow in or, or whatever. Um, but this is the new trophy. And a thing to note is that the bomb site is actually no longer in trophy. The bomb site is in kitchen and also in dining. So you can't plant trophy anymore. That's not a bomb site. It's now kitchen and dining, right? So we'll quickly take a look at West Main. These, of course, are the walls that lead into the trophy. You've got this window looking out. The other other window and the double door have uh, are gone. You've got this new window here, which leads out to that West Pond. You've got your stairs in West Main leading down, but you no longer have the one going up. And since there's that camera right there, they moved it here. And we'll go up these stairs now. I know you guys are wanting to look at this. So this is what Master used to be. You've got stairs leading from trophy now to where Master used to be. You've got your windows here looking out to uh, uh, campfire. You've got this new room here, which used to be master. It leads to the master bathroom, which you've got a window in here. Changed up, obviously, quite a bit. And then you've also got your piano room with the window itself. And master bedroom, which, of course, the hatch has been moved. And um, the whole room has been changed up quite a bit. You've got the, the closet here as well. So now head over to piano, going to office. So this is the new office. Quite a big change for office, honestly. The window there is gone. Can't really quite peek out there anymore. This is the door that leads the canine. As you can see, there's only the window here now. The rest of the windows have been boarded up. And you now have to run out all the way over here to peek. You still can do it, but they've made it a little bit more difficult. Um, this window, as you can see, you can just vault straight into fireplace. So that's what we're going to do. This is your top fireplace. Default cam still in the same place. So here's the uh, piano room and, and the office and all that. You got your window here. They've moved it slightly from uh, like over here to here. So we'll take a look at a uh, library. You've got your hatch in the same spot there. Library looks uh, pretty similar to be honest. Um, for the most part the same. You know, you've got your window gone there, but library looks uh, much of the same. And uh, you've got your stairs leading down. Um, again, these uh, these staircases, used, the railings here used to be uh, these metal like bars, and you could pixel peek through them. But now they're actually gone, um, so it's much easier to take a gunfight between those now. So this is honestly the the map. Um, not much else has changed. Uh, I, I honestly am really enjoying this rework to Chalet. Um, it's one of my favorite reworks, definitely. Um, we'll have to wait and see how competitively viable it is. Uh, but definitely, definitely good changes. I, I've, I've really enjoyed everything so far. So, again, 
thank you so much Ubisoft for letting me come out and uh, play the new season early and demo all this stuff. Um, honestly, it, it's just an honor. Like I, I never would have expected them to invite me to something like this. So thank you so much for that and everybody else that's been supporting me and like helping me get this opportunity. I appreciate it so much. This is going to be the end of the walkthrough now. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, all that. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. But as always, guys, thank you for watching.